learn how to create folders and how to get organized using folders on Schoology within your course or within a group that you are an admin of. So I'm going to show you an example of some folders that I use uh, to organize myself. So this is an example within my sandbox. So I've created a fall 2020 folder. And to do this, you go to add materials and you click add folder. And here we are loading. And you can title your folder whatever you like. Um, maybe you would even like to create a 2020 to 21 school year folder. Um, and maybe I like green, so I'll make it green. I'll click create. And we're loading here. Ooh, interesting. Something happened. Looks like we had some kind of glitch or something. <laughs> okay, so here we are with our new folder down here. And so I had already created my fall 2020 folder. So I'm just going to click and drag that into this folder. Kind of trying to get that in there. There we go. So now it's within the 2020 to 21 school year. So I'm going to click here. And we have that folder I was telling you about. And within this folder, I have created other folders. So personally, I was just using this as an example. So I've created um, folders to get organized by month. And maybe that is something you're interested in, interested in. Maybe you would organize some other type of way. But this is just an example as to how you can get organized with, with folders. And I just co color coded them in, in a rainbow kind of fashion. So within August 2020, going to click there and we're loading. Give it a second. Um, I have a week one folder that I created and to do that I just as earlier I clicked add folder and then I titled it week one but since I already have a week one I am now just going to make a week two. And I'm also making a green just because I like green. If you would like to maybe color code all the same folders within your month a certain color, you can also do that. It's completely up to you. So now I have two weeks within my August folder and I'm going to click on my week one folder. And within that folder, I have a week one language arts. And you can create as many folders as you like. So for me, I just feel like this may be very helpful, maybe uh, not just to you, but also to your students to find their work. Um, and within language arts, uh, maybe you can organize by the day of the week if you need to. Monday, and you can put the date. Since we're in August, you can write whatever day it is and then students will be able to find those assignments within their language arts folder. And if you want to be even more specific, just to try to combat any potential accidents, um, you can be extra detailed in labeling if that's of interest to you, just in case you feel like students might get lost or you yourself might get a little confused. And within this folder, maybe you uh, want to create an assignment and add it in there for students to access, or you can also add discussion boards or whatever um, materials you're adding there. And to get back, instead of clicking materials to start all the way over, you can follow this uh, trail of breadcrumbs here. So we're currently in the week one ELA Monday 
August, I'm not sure, whatever date it would be, 2020. So this maybe would be just for your students on that Monday, all the activities that they would be participating in with you or completing on their own. And to backtrack, you can click week one and see what is within the week one language arts folder, the week one uh, overall general folder where we have week one language arts and week one math. And even further backtrack, go to the month folder, even further back, go back to the fall 2020 folder, and here we have all the months. So for me, I personally do like to plan ahead and get organized, um, but sometimes you don't want your students to be able to access all that work yet. So you may want to unpublish certain materials just so that they can't see them yet. So you will be able to have access to these materials, but your students will not yet be able to see them or click on them. So I'll just refresh my page to show you what that might look like. So I, I hid all of these. You can hide as much as you would like. And I'll refresh again. So students would only be able to see August. And even within this folder, if you would only like them to see week one, you can also unpublish that second week. So that there are no accidents of, oh, you know, maybe I accidentally clicked the wrong assignment. Sorry, I did the one for next week. What do I do now? So you may be able to avoid some of those mishaps um, by um, publishing some of your assignments and then when you're ready clicking publish by using this uh, gear here and you'll click that publish button and publish when you feel like you're ready so and we can always go back using the breadcrumbs so fall 2020 here we are and back to 2020 2021 school year folder and there we are with fall 2020 and you can create other folders maybe for spring 2021 or maybe you have a, a winter packet that you're sending with them over break if you've thought that far ahead etc uh, etc et so um and to go back to your main home page materials so i hope that has been helpful and has been uh, an insight as to how you may want to organize or may look into organizing yourself on Schoology using folders. All right, thank you. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe and I'll be able to create more videos uh, like this. Thank you.